boy, is there a lot of cleaning up to do. I think my, my end up might go in just a little deeper because I want to bring that nose out. I'd like to have a bigger nose, but for some reason it didn't work out too well. I think maybe the cheeks might have to come down a little bit, but I'll decide it then. Same thing here. Make sure you're cut, I'm cutting away, not, not deep like this, or not in like this, but cut away. Now I can cut in towards what I just cut. Oops, watch the green. Oh, I think I may have took too much off there. Oh, I'm gonna have the curl came out of there. I did kind of ruin the curl. I might have to make this curl the same as that curl. <sighs> See how they're coming out? Same with on the inside. Get into the mustache too deep. I want to bring this out quite a bit. Again, you can use a chisel if you want instead of a, a knife when it comes to cutting really deep. I probably couldn't fix that. I wonder if I could put another curl in there. Okay, other side. I'm going to turn around this way since I cut this way. My hand cuts this way. I'm going to turn it around. Deep, deep, deep. And pull that out. Careful not to ruin this curl. Now I want to go even deeper at this point here because this is where the mouth is going to be even though I'm not going to put in the mouth I'm going to do something like that there. 
Let's shape the mustache just I'm just going to round it a little bit here. And I'm not too worried about the the knife marks in the mustache because you know it's mustache is here. We can kind of put that in. Around it this way. Get all the saw marks off. Get out of there. That little booger ain't coming out. the green there like I said I'm not too concerned about these knife marks here I can incorporate it with the hair. Is that spot again? Okay, mustache. I'm gonna I'm gonna work at the beard a little more. In fact, I'm going to bring in the arm a little more. I'm gonna come go in this direction and let's bring this in first. Again, if you can use a chisel instead of a knife, if you want to use a chisel instead of a knife, so adapt the difference between the two. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Now I'm going to, I could, uh, um, what do you want to call it, uh, flange it a little bit, so in other words it could it could come out a little bit so I can still cut a little more in here leaving this part alone I'd like to do that to have that extra flange to it and of course I can always adjust if I don't And that's the other reason why it looks like I'm really getting kind of overly hacky at this is, is because I need to put all this in a single video. That's, that's the thing. So I'm kind of going as fast as I can and you can always stop your video at any time. Yeah, starting to shape a little better.
still really hacky, but we'll do some cleanup later. Yeah, because what's going to happen when I do clean this up, I'm going to do some undercutting. In other words, I'm going to cut in where the where this cloak will come out more. But right now, still trying to get the shape of it. Now I got to come over on this side. See how this side looks good. Now I got to work over on this side. Same thing. Yeah, because I want to start working on the, the back as well here. To make sure they're kind of even. Or kind of even that they are even. I think I might. No, I think I'm so good. Size. Is that about the same size? I think this might be a little smaller. No? Yeah, it might be a little smaller, but we'll adjust. Bring it down a little bit before I start flanging it a little bit. Same with back here. We want this wood to go down so this ponytail will come up. Well, work on the ponytail. I think I'll, if I can, don't think of anything else. I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done with this part of it, I'm gonna start working on that ponytail in the back. to get a chisel in there instead of a knife. Goodbye to the chips. Okay, like I said, I want to start over on this side. See if I can do this without putting them on my, my chisel glove. Let's bring that ponytail out. Yeah, we're going to have to get down and Shorten the bottom end a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Now this is going to be kind of the difficult part. Well, not difficult, but what's going to happen 
is that I'm going to have to shrink this a bit. Careful, I won't shrink it so much as I take some of that wood off, some of that hair out of there. Using the corner of my chisel as uh, the knife, but I guess that it's not coming out the way I want it. No, I think we can start using the knife here. Do the same thing. Maybe here, let's get this piece off first. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here, is kind of deep. Getting deep, cutting that out of there. Oops, grain goes this way. See how that's coming out? May want to go deeper. I'm debating on whether to go too deep with that because, again, because of the video. You can go as deep as you want. I mean, same with the front here. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of him to be able to do that with. A little bit of cleaning. Same with the side. Away from. Into. Now the thing is, is when you do stuff like this, is you want to, this is the hardest, hardest thing to say, I guess, I don't know, it's just to, Really imagine where that tip is as if your wood was made of made of glass or you can see right through and you can see where that tip is going. I mean I fail at that a lot, but that is one concept. If you're kind of a person who goes digging, a lot of times I'd go digging or like in here, here's a good example. You go digging in there, you cut this way, and then you cut this way. Oh, it doesn't cut. It's still in there, and then you cut again, and then you cut again, you know, and you gotta cut, keep cutting and cutting until you try to get that piece out. And what happens is you keep slashing. That's why you make the, all these little, little things in there that is difficult to get out. And that's why if you can just learn how to think, where is that tip going? How deep is it? It's kind of funny, I remember that my, uh, my beginning wood carving class, one of the little an eight-week class, eight weeks and six projects. One of them was this weasel, and when I carved it, it of course, is a weasel supposed to be round, kind of a round cylindrical shape, and me and the other students, of course, it was too square. And I said, oh, it looks good here, and gave it to the instructor, and he says, here, let me do that for you. And he took a knife, and just chips flew, and I went, <gasps> Because I thought he's taken way, 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 way more off than it should. And then I realized even after he was done, I was still rounding it off even more. He didn't take off enough. And I learned, learned that because we think that we 
we're afraid of getting into the wood, but you know, you got to practice doing that to the point where, um, I'm going to round this off here. You got to practice knowing where the knife is because then you'll be able to, to carve and you, and it'll, you'll stop being afraid of cutting too deep. Yeah, you might, one piece you might ruin, but you'll learn from that and then which that you can add to another piece in which you'll make better. Some pieces might have to be sacrificed in order to, to understand how things work. <sighs> okay, again, cleaning up to do later. Right now we're just pulling everything out. Same with this hair. This hair can be imperfect. I'll leave that kind of a funny shape for right now. Okay, we got a good start on that. All right, let's do the same thing down here. And once we do that, I think uh, I might want to play with the helmet a little bit and do a little more adjustment, and I think we're ready for details. Same thing, cut away. Now cut in. Cut away. This is going to be a little more difficult. Because we're definitely going to have to get some chisels in there when we get to cleaning up. Cut away. Cut in. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get some chisels going on in there. Some micro chisels. I can take my knife and at least get it started here. on the side in. I did do some of it. Or carve out, pardon me, now you're carving in. Alright. So now it's going to be the same thing here like we did in the back where we might have to see how that comes in a little bit. Okay, because his chest, we're leaving his chest and going into his abdomen, his belly area, which, if this is one of those fighting Vikings, he uh, he's a little leaner, but muscular on top. Okay, same thing, I'd want to kind of round this off a little bit, and again, we'll have to clean it up at cleanup time. I like to take those saw marks off. Oops, 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 careful. I think I might did get it carried away here, but I think 
shaping, and we're going to be shaping this a little later. Actually, detailing it. chisel can I still get in there this is a smaller chisel but no I think I need it I got it started got her started where's my mm, yeah, he's around there so oh there he is I think that's like a small seven right there they had was a larger seven. <laughs> That's better. Not perfect, but better. chips. Well, what do you think so far? I think we are getting close to ready for detailing. I'm going to leave the um, the helmet to the end, like I said. I still want to go a little deeper here, and then it's going to, I'm going to bring the helmet back and bring the helmet forward so it's a little more rounder instead of it being completely egg shape. I'm going to go a little more deeper here. I'm going to pre this is preparing for the eye, uh, making sure that the nose is as far out as I want it. Bring the cheeks down just a little bit. Then when I bring the cheeks down a little bit, then I gotta sharpen this area here. <sighs> Same thing on this side. That brings the nose out a little more. I didn't didn't finish the nose. I didn't want to finish the nose until I was sure about what I wanted to do with the nose. <sighs> mm hmm. A little booger there. <sighs> See how that looks so far. Don't pay any mind to the chips. We'll take care of the goofing up part and cleaning up part. But I'm going to clean the eyes just a little bit more. Where's my, uh, where's this chisel? Here, yeah, this one here. And just do a little bit of cleaning up. And what I want to do is I want to bring the bridge of the nose down because the eye is going to be round like this. So therefore we got to go deeper here than here. Just like we're going to go deeper over on this side. <sighs> Let's go a little deeper over here.
See, I'm trying to create this roundness. Take my knife and kind of rub that a little more this way. Rub that a little more this way. Hair got in the way. Yeah, I suppose we could put the eyeball in. Oops. I got to, now I got to even it out here. Because it seems we lost our eye line. Get a smaller chisel in there just a little bit. Maybe do a little bit of cleaning or will it make it worse? Okay, I think we can get the eye line in. Let's get the eyes in. See, so you look at it this way, I gotta look at it. Okay, we're gonna put in line here. And it's gonna be, there's the, there's the center line. I'm going to put one here and then one in the same distance between here to here to here, from here to here. Then we kind of want the same from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here, here to here. I'm going to make the eye like this. Can't get the pencil in there. Okay, let's get my detailing knife in there and what you want to do is you want to draw on that line with the tip of your knife. Not supposed to be shallow here but a little more deeper here and then come up. Same with on this side. Oops, careful. I think this one might be a little lower. I gotta work with it. And then come up. Now what I want to do is on the four corners of the two eyes is I want to dig deep. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a chip. Flip it over. And then take that chip out. Take that chip out. <sighs> take the chip out. Now we want to carve up on the eye and then down and so what you're doing is you're really you're forming a ball because that's what the eye is is an eyeball <sighs> and you're just rounding it how is that I think it's just maybe a little bit of cleaning on the eye Then same thing here, up. I 
I said it too deep here, so don't be don't be prying when you still have chips that don't come out because you'll be taken off more than you want to be taken off. Come down, round. Yeah, I think I still got more <laughs> more cutting here. I gotta go down. That's getting kind of hacky up there. Remember I was telling you about how you cut it once and it isn't good enough and then you cut it again. And of course the other thing is I don't have my visor on. <sighs> okay, um, what we want to do is look all the way around. Make sure it's all round, number one. And then you look at the both of those eyes, I think one eye, I think this eye is higher than the other eye, so let's kind of bring that down. I think that's probably because all that chip carving I was doing, all that whacking I've been doing. Like I said, I don't have my visor. I should probably have put my visor on because that looks more, that looks way hacky than I usually have it. And we're not going to leave it that way, of course, when it comes to cleaning up. Okay, now I want to take my knife and carefully take the pencil marks off, if we can. <laughs> we can probably use a chisel later on the inside if it don't come out. It's in a valley there, I can get that out. <sighs> God, it's so hacky. That's because it's kind of hard to handle here. And again, I'll get that all cleaned up. Now, you can either use a small chisel, but I like to use my knife and create this little scoop right here. And that's going to be the bottom eyelid. Both sides. I think my knife needs sharpening, that's the other thing too.